well, around about September, my wife said to me if I uh, could make a couple of shelves up and put some of the toys that I've made up on display in the family room. And I thought, well, that's a great idea. So, yeah, I'll do that. And I even rashly promised I'll have it done by Christmas. Well, that was September 2017, and it's now just gone Christmas 2018. And finally, a few days before this Christmas, 2018, I got the shelves made and up. So, if you want to see the process of building some display shelves for your toys, here's how I went about mine. So off to, to Danny's Wood Supplies, not far from where I live, uh, Danny cuts uh, slabs for selling mostly to furniture makers, but he found a long narrow bit about 4.2 metres long for me. It was a little bit wide, so he took a strip off the side. I actually asked him to, to keep that. I wanted to uh, use that as well. So I bung it on the trailer and uh, headed back home again. Now, a bit of unloading to do here. Uh, the old red flag, just to let people know there's a bit hanging out the back. But this is the skinny bit he had cut off the side for me. I'm going to use that for some brackets later on. You'll see that when that happens. And I put down a laminated beam here to put underneath the long strip uh, just to try and save it from bowing as I was working on it. Now, first problem to overcome, it's thicker at one end than the other. So the first of many many passes through the painter coming up. I reverted to a belt sander here just to take the final bits off. If I kept down with the plane, I was concerned I was going to end up too thin. So this took the last of the little bits of blemishes out. I have a look at this. First time I've used a quarter drill for anything, probably 10 years or more. And then I came back, one end of the board, actually the, the live edge petered out. So I decided time to create a live edge, firstly using a um, spoke shave. And then an orbital sander just to create more grooves and dents, but that bit of video didn't work out. Here I am blocking up the, uh, the strip so I can get to the opposite side to the live edge, which needs to be flat. And pulling out the old number seven Stanley doesn't get much of a workout, but here it goes. Did the job well. Then off to sanding. Well, quite a bit of this random audible sander, followed up, of course, by something a little bit lighter on with the, uh, the orbital sander. And that's just before I decided it was time to get on and make the brackets themselves. This is what they look like in the end. So in order to make them, I started off with a bit of that uh, extra scrappy side bit that I asked for. And using my jointed jig for small pieces on the table saw, I just jointed up one edge of it, eventually. And then just moved on to cutting it into some reasonable size strips. And uh, this is a saw makes it easy. I love my Dewalt saws, it's just terrific. <laughs> just cut the length. And it was time now to think about what do I want to do for the curve in the middle. Well, I just made up a uh, bit of a shape that I thought looked reasonable. Had to glue a couple of bits of jarrah together. And uh, cut them out in the bandsaw. Another bit of video that didn't work before I uh, cleaned them up on the spindle sander. Now, here's a little catch that I've got on the back here. I'm uh, tracing it out. It's one of those little catches off a door chain. And uh, traced it onto the side of the bit of bracket, pre-drilled the holes that would go in for screws to hold it, 
Use a small saw, force a bit, just to create a bit of the depth that I needed to recess it. And finish the job off just with chisels and a carver's chisel. First time I used a head-mounted camera here. Certainly it goes all over the place, doesn't it? I mean, uh, okay, so it's following me around, but yeah, I'm not sure I'm fussed about it, actually. But uh, anyway, I gave it a go. Try something new. I'm not a great videographer by any means, if that's the right word. There we go. We've got the uh, mounting the little bracket now in there. And uh, that'll be ready then to put the little curvy, wavy bit in the middle. We can see how this works just using some bits of scrap. You know, I've got one recess into this bit of wood here. And we can see that if we want to hook that up against a wall like that, this uh, curved piece of the bracket is going to be in the way of getting a screw through. We really need through one there and down here. So to get around that, we put this little doobalacky in there and that hooks into a screw in the wall and that holds it steady there for another screw to grow in down, go in down below. So we end up with something like that. Oh, about here now, I dropped my iPhone and happened to totally kill it. The gel I'm using naturally has quite a bit of variation in the colour, but it also darkens as it gets older. A big line on top there is a, an old 60-year-old piece that I'm using for another project. And uh, what I'm about to do would be considered uh, sacrilege by many furniture makers, and that is I decide I'm going to take, make the bit I'm using darker and uh, use a stain or a jar of stain. <laughs> So, uh, for better or worse, that's what I did. I applied four coats of oil-based poly, and uh, here I am at the end of that, cleaning it up and flattening it with 800 uh, grit wet and dry. Did a great job. And then finished off that again with 4 naught steel wool and uh, paste wax. Uh, came up with a very nice Verotype finish. And here they are, all mounted and toys on display. Uh, actually, I didn't mention earlier, I did at one stage cut them in half so I could do that staggered effect. Well, as you can see, I think they turned out okay. I mean, obviously I made them so I know where the uh, few little blemishes and imperfections are. Um, but no, they look all right. Uh, like the Jarrah, like the Live Edge, even if it's made up of places. And uh, I made the brackets according to uh, my wife's designer wishes. So a win-win all round. If you haven't uh, seen my videos before, please have a squeeze through them and like and subscribe. Thanks very much. See ya.